What if you just tried it? I talk to practice owners all the time and, and I've been there, I've done that, you know, like I've, I've been the person who's overwhelmed, overbooked, underpaid, <laughs> right? Not too many things to do, not enough time to do it. You know, I remember a time where I was, I was leaving the house in the morning, you know, scrambled around, you know, five o'clock in the morning, six o'clock in the morning. And I wasn't getting home until 10, 11 o'clock at night. I wouldn't even see my children. My health was declining. I wasn't exercising or taking care of myself anymore. I wasn't eating very well. I wasn't sleeping very well. My relationship with my wife was starting to suffer. And you know what? You don't deserve that. Private practice is hard. It's one of the hardest things to do. In fact, I always tell people it's the hardest thing I've ever done was start my practice by far. But the hardest decision I ever had to make was choosing between myself and my health and my family and my patient. And the truth was, as I got a little older, I realized that I was saying yes so much to my patients and my business that I was actually saying no to my health and my family.